Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Retail Stored Management System. And I have developed this project in Python, Django, and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3, and the Django version is 2, and the MySQL version is 12.6. For connecting the Python Django with MySQL, I am using the MySQL Python connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. But if you are using the PIP, then you can also install the PyMySQL for connecting the Python Django with the MySQL database. Okay. So uh, for front-end development, it's a web-based project. So for front-end development, uh, I'm using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like uh, form validations, calendar integrations, and many more things. I am using the jQuery plugins. Right. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is Retrieval Store Management System. It's a mini, mini uh web-based python django and mysql dbms project right which has only and only admin functionality there is no login for the customers and other users available it has only one admin functionality because it's a mini project right so let's start with the functionality go through so this is the home page of the project you can see this is the home page but if you want to change the value um, content of this page you can change it directly from the html this is about and this is also editable you can change it from the html page and those contents will be updated here this is a contact us page this is a static form i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so you can treat it as a static html forms this is a login from where you will be able to log in and perform certain operations right so because it's an admin uh, driven application so admin can perform operation in the project so the user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you will be able to get all of the menu items which admin can perform admin can add the product admin can add the product sales admin can see the product details admin can see the product sales details and change password so these admin these operations admin can perform these menus also available in the header bar you can see the menu is available in the header bar right home dashboard this is add product right so from here you will be able to add any number of products and those products will be saved into the database and uh, you will be able to add that product at the time of sales right this is the product details all of the product which you have added will be displayed here so there are eight products which is available into the database will be displayed here right so you can edit it you can update it you can delete the records here from also right this is the sales details right from here you will be able to add the cells like this one okay you need to enter the customer name first and the customer contact number and once you click on the add the sales dashboard will come and here you need to select the product and add the items right the items will be added directly into the uh, into the cart like this right and the price is calculating automatically if you want to delete any item from cards just click on the delete and that item will be removed from the card okay so customer needs to pay is 1450 rupees once you click on the save order then the whole page items will be saved and you can uh, find it into the sales details tab later right so this so order number is e and you can find that okay so there are total four items which the customer about and the total cost is 1450 rupees 1450 rupees right so this is the ad sales right already explained you this is the sales details so it contains all of the sales which has been made by admin so the last order was it order number eight once you click on the view order then you will be able to find the order details here so you can see this is the order details right this is a change password from admin will be able to update his account password and at the and after updating his password he will be able to log in with his updated password the old password will not work right this is a logout once admin click on the logout the above administration menu will not be displayed let me show you the above administration menu is not displaying but if you log in the above administration menu is displaying so the header menu is totally session driven and it's uh, rendering according to the administration or login session so if uh, the code is checking the admin is login or not if admin is login the above menu will display if admin is not login then above menu will not be displayed right so this is session driven so it's these all functionalities i have developed in this project normally it's a basic project from where you will be able to learn that how can we develop the python django and mysql application how can we create the html pages in the python how can connect 
uh, MySQL with the Python, how can save the data, like this type of things you can learn from this project, right? So if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest classes. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.